What if I told you that a skilled Soviet pilot can only be defeated by an Apache's 30 millimeter cannon? You'll see that in this video as I take off on the contention multiplayer server in DCS world in my SU-27. As I pick up and build up some altitude, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, any comment always helps, and let's take a look at the weapons. I've got a pair of jammers, a pair of R-73s, those are short range missiles, 2017s, those are longer range Fox 2 missiles, and of course R-27Rs, Fox 1 missiles. As I head in towards the enemies, this video is powered by Fox 3 Managed Solutions because that's where I do my training. And on the right side of the screen as this enemy F-18 comes into view, we've got TACVIEW, which you can download for free from TACVIEW.net. And that's how you learn and improve your flights. And sometimes figure out that you probably should have been splashed. You'll see that coming up in just a minute here where I got purely lucky. But the enemy F-18 is the blue guy on the top of the screen. He's heading for me. I'll mark him on TACVIEW as he fires not one, but two Sparrow missiles at me. He is fairly high and quick, but his sparrows have a bit of a trouble reaching me because they're not really fast missiles. Remember, this is a Cold War server, which means that the missiles are sparrows. There's no Fox 3s, but my RWR is definitely upset. I fire back 27R. He is still locking me. I've got my eyes on my RWR and trying to put those missiles in a notch. A little bit more to the right, I'm waiting for all those lights to turn solid. If you're wondering about notching missiles, I'll put a link to my video in the description. There's two more missiles, they're defeated. I fly by, his missiles are trashed. Why? Because I was able to notch the radar of the F-18 which was guiding those missiles. Turning back in. Looking for a lock. I can't visually spot the F-18. He's somewhere, but I just don't see him. He is locking me. What I didn't realize is he was actually above me, diving straight down on me. I maneuver, he fires a Fox 2 Sidewinder, but he fires too close and I just get lucky enough that it doesn't hit me. Looking over my shoulder. I think I see him. There he is, he crosses my nose. And I've got him. He starts a right hand turn. I'm matching him in a right hand turn. Waiting for a lock with my helmet. Helmet lock has been achieved. I've got a six o'clock. Just watching his flight. Getting a missile ready. I switch to the 27 T. Fox too long. Splash F-18. Drop a couple of flares just in case he fires Sidewinder at me. And let's take a look at this. He crosses my nose from the right side. I catch him just at the last second. Start a hard right turn. I've got pretty much his six o'clock here. And wait for my shot. Missile tracks. And hits the F-18. Just in case I deploy flares, because just in case he fired an AIM-9 at me. But that was the uh, first splash of the day as I continue my air patrol over Syria. Alright, there were some targets at the far up on my nose, but I see something to the right. I'm not sure what it is, but it appears to be low. So I start turning towards Hama. Now, as you can see, the attack view on the right hand side is pretty much synchronized with this flight but what I did know is that the flyer there was this A-10 who was taking shots at the refineries and factories near Hama. I fire a Fox 1, it doesn't track. The pilot in the A-10 is pretty good. He has put me on a 90 degree notch and deployed chaff and flares as he crosses my nose left to right. Got him locked up, I fire another 27R the A-10 simply doesn't care. He's flying his notch, he's deploying chaff and flares, and my missiles are just not tracking him. All right, I'm within a two and a half mile range, switching to an R-73 Fox 2. Missiles fired, I have a good lock. 
and it misses him. Last moment switch to guns. 30 millimeter cannon. Just a quick tap on his shoulder. And I go vertical, looking over my shoulder, making sure I can keep an eye on the A-10. See, now I want to get him because, well, he survived three of my missiles. There he is, got him locked with a helmet. Bringing the nose around. Gonna do another cannon pass. And pulling up and going level. Let's watch this from another perspective. Here's the A-10, he's actually dropping his gear. Here's my Fox 2. Hits right behind him. I'm coming in right on top of that. There's the cannon. He survives it. As I go vertical for another pass and come straight back down on him. The most important thing is not to lose sight of the target in this situation. Some more 30 millimeter cannon and I'm leveling out. Now you might be wondering why is plasma flying flat? That's because there's another F-18 right above me and he started shooting at me already. I put myself on a 90 degree to him and maintaining course, dropping chaff and flares, trying to break lock of his missiles because they are very close to me. I'm trying to lock it with my helmet. Just as I turn in for a shot, he fires another missile. My only choice here is to reverse. That second sparrow is fast and it's very close. I have to put it back in a notch, try to break lock. This is very dicey. The beeping has stopped, which means he's lost lock. Turning back in again, and remember, all I've got now is one twenty seven t one R73. R73 is on its way. I deploy flares, and there's a splash. F-18 down, and I've survived that duel. With one missile remaining, that, uh, that Apache, that A-10 cost me a lot of missiles. All right, so let's review this. There's a Sparrow launch. It's tracking me. I go right. I realize the missile has lost track. There's the explosion behind me. Pull back hard. Fox 2. As the missile flies towards the F-18, I'm deploying flares and cut my afterburner. Splash F-18 and I'm safe. All right, well, I'm down to one missile, not a lot of fuel, so it's time to land at Hama, a friendly airbase here on the contention server. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys like and uh, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet, because now comes the really spicy stuff. Someone's watching me. And that someone is an Apache. Just outside of the base perimeter, he is hovering and he's been taking shots at various vehicles and targets. And unfortunately, I've gained his attention. As I park and I pull over to the side for rearming and refueling, the Apache spots me and as he's defending missiles, starts making his way towards the airbase. Now, of course, this whole time I'm oblivious. If you use SRS, you can talk to a GCI if there's a live GCI, but I did not see that Apache come in and point right at me. I'm busy rearming, refueling, just, you know, doing, talking to my buddies on Discord. Meanwhile, the Apache is taking out a few tanks and his 30 millimeter cannon turns towards yours truly. This was very surprising. I jumped up in my seat. Promised you that the only thing that can kill a flanker is an Apache. And he starts to leave. Now, revenge is a dish best served with uh, a MiG-21. So this is actually pretty awesome, guys. As he pulls away from the airbase and me on fire, I can still repair and take off. So I'm still, I'm busted. I'll spend an extra three minutes repairing. But as he pulls away, I start messaging in the chat in the server. The Mirage that's landing on the right side of me on the map. He takes off and starts flying. And also there's a MiG-21 coming in. 
who reads my chat just as he flies over this Apache. This is probably one of the most cinematic things I've seen in a DCS. I'll slow down for you guys. Fish bed versus an Apache. His gear is down. He's coming in for a landing. And either he spotted the Apache or saw where I marked it on the map. And you can see me looking down my HUD here. There's the MiG going left and there's the Apache going right. I marked the approximate location and hopefully it was a GCI that was still guiding the MiG. The next thing I see is the MiGs coming around from the other side, firing Fox 2s and diving. Holding my breath here as he goes low. Did he hit the ground? He's all right, folks. That Apache's not feeling too good. Something in the Apache must be done, right? And just as the MiG-21 pulls away, I'm hearing a noise from my six o'clock. I'm thinking, is there an airstrike on the base? No, there's a Mirage 2000 that's also on the red side. Also goes in for a pass and strafes the Apache. Well, let's go cinematic view and watch this from the MiG-21's perspective. MiG-21 rolls in, the Apache is just behind the column of smoke. Deploys flares. The R-60 missile's short. MiG-21 opens up with his cannon. The Apache's defending as best as he can. Here in super slow motion, MiG-21 comes through the smoke and takes out the tail of the Apache. Passing feet above the ground and manages not to hit the power lines as he goes back into the vertical, knocking down the Apache that did me so wrong. But as I said, it's not over. Here comes the Mirage. Mirage 2000 rolls in, opens up with his cannon and finishes off the Apache. Pieces flying in every which direction for an excellent splash. All right, folks, as I've said, Cold War is on and uh, even an MI-24 decided to fly over me. So I'll see you guys in the air. Make sure you subscribe, comment, Go to fox3ms.com if you want a dedicated server and if you want to fly custom missions. And of course, go grab TACView. I'm really impressed after doing an interview that you'll see a link to on the screen, just how much love there is in the creators of TACView for that product. Plasma 1945 is out of here.